in November of 1993, Notre Dame was unbeaten, winners of 16 consecutive games and ranked number two in the country. Florida State was unbeaten, winners of 16 consecutive games, but the Seminoles were ranked number one. And they looked it on their first drive. Charlie Ward hit Kevin Knox to complete an 89-yard march in 10 plays. But the Irish answered immediately, 80 yards in seven plays, ending with flanker Adrian Jarrell making just the third carry of his career. Play action fake, flip, coming to the near side, Jarrell. 35, 30, 25, sideline, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! On a flanker reverse to Adrian Jarrell. His 32-yard TD run tied the game at seven and made it clear this would be a day to remember. The Seminole defense wasn't used to getting run over. Lee Becton went for 26 in the second quarter to make it 14-7, and Florida State knew it had a problem. Especially after strong safety John Covington picked off a ward pass. It was the first interception thrown by the eventual Heisman Trophy winner in 159 attempts. And the Irish had some other moves up their sleeves. All-American free safety Jeff Burris lined up in the backfield and ran one in to make it 21-7. The Seminoles had only allowed two rushing touchdowns all year before watching Notre Dame score three in the first half. By the time the game reached the fourth quarter, Burris was in the backfield again. Here's Fela, hands it off to Burris. Burris under the 10, five, touchdown, Jeff Burris and running right at the Knolls to make it 31-17 with less than seven minutes to play. It was then that Florida State got its wake-up call, and on a desperation fourth and goal from the 20-yard line, Ward hit Kez McCorvey, and the Seminoles were back within a touchdown at 31-24. And Florida State got the ball again in the final minute, making it to the 14-yard line for the game's final play. Ward flushed out of the pocket, throwing in the end zone, knocked down by Wooden, the game is over, the Irish is upset, Florida State, Notre Dame wins, pandemonium on the field. Florida State may have wound up winning the national title, but it has always had an unprinted asterisk because Notre Dame is the team that won the game.